What? 94% auction clearance rate in Melbourne lockdown? Oh my god! Property market has gone crazy! I better get into it now or otherwise I will never own a home! Wait a second. But why domain.com.au has reported only 66% at the same time? Nearly 30% difference. I thought every property is selling in this market. But now you tell me that it's not the case? It's confusing, isn't it? What is really happening in the property market? You know what? Mark Twain once said, get the facts first and then you can distort them as much as you please. In this video, I'm going to show you the facts of how these auction clearance rates are calculated and how the media is trying to manipulate the data to give you the perception that they want you to have. In the end of this video, I'm going to show you three questions that can help you gather real important data that help you buy or sell your property. Let's get the ball rolling. First of all, let's look at the formula from different online platform. This is domain.com.au's calculation formula. Sold under the hammer plus sold prior divided total reported auctions which is then presented as a percentage. Total reported auctions includes every possible scenario sold under the hammer, sold prior, sold after, passed in or withdrawn. And let's look at REA's calculations. Total auction properties that were sold for the week including those sold before and after auction. And dividing these by the number of auction results available including sold, withdrawn and passed in results. Then multiply by 100 to get the clearance rate percentage. And REIV's calculation is like this. The auction clearance rate is calculated based on number of auctions reported to the REIV. It refers to all properties sold by auction as a percentage of total reported auctions. Properties withdrawn from auctions or postponed are not considered as these properties never went up for auction on the previously scheduled day. All calculations are based on results reported to the REIV. No assumptions are made on whether a property was sold or not. In terms of the difference between the REIV domain and REA, I will make a video to explain that in the future. And now, I'm not sure if you are aware of something in their calculation because the devil is in the detail. All of the total auction number is based on reported or available and these numbers are gathered by the real estate agent who listed or managed the property. What's that mean? That means real estate agents can choose not to report. <laughs> In my opinion, there are only two reasons agents don't report. Either they forget to report for whatever reasons, or they don't have a successful sale on the property on the auction day. Based on this week's auction clearance rate, if we assume all the non-reported auctions are not sold, let's see what the auction clearance rate would be. According to REIV's data, there was 271 property not reported from last week. If we add it up into total number of auction, it would be 714. And REIV reported 418 property has been sold last week. We can use this data as an example divided by 714 equals to 59%. Compared to 94% the current reported auction clearance rate, during lockdown, which one do you think is more realistic? Now you understand auction clearance rate does not represent the entire market. This is only one of the many indicators you can use in your property research. Now you might ask, what should I look at when I'm doing property research when I'm selling or buying? It's when you are buying or selling, you are in a microeconomy perspective. In the property market. A macro perspective data like auction clearance rate does not help you. 
you should ask these questions before you start your research. Remember, a great question always leads to great answer. Number one, what is the location you are going to buy or sell? This is a very important question because this is all about focus. Where you focus, where your energy flows. You don't want to focus on something which is not relevant to your property goals. As you know, there are so many distractions out there. Decide where you want to be before you take action, please. And question number two, what are the comparable sales within the last 6 to 12 months for the property you are trying to sell or buy? Once a buyer came to me saying, the house across the road sold for 1.4 million recently and the one I showed her has very similar number of bedrooms, bathroom and have similar features. So, she thinks the property should be worth around 1.4 million. Exactly. That is how buyers determine the value of the home, so does the bank. Don't look at what agents quoting in their statement of information, as this is another data agents can manipulate on. Few free websites I will recommend you to look at when you're doing your research. That would be propertydata.com.au, realestate.com.au, or domain.com.au. However, finding the right comparable sales during your research can take up a lot of your time and energy. I would suggest you can get a reliable real estate agent to make you a comparable sales report for you. It will be much, much easier. Don't hesitate to make that one phone call or ask that one question because it will definitely save you a ton of time. If you have difficulty to find one, let me know. I will help you out. Question number three, and ask your real estate agent a lot of questions, no matter you are buying or selling. A question like how many days on market for the property or how many buyers came through to the open inspection can be useful for your research. If the days on market in a very hot market is high and number of inspections on the property are low, that means something on the property is not attractive enough for buy to even bother inspect the home. Some factors like price, presentation or location. For sellers who are concerning not having enough interest on the property, you can watch my other video to resolve the problem. But for buyers, this may be your opportunity. I hope this video can be helpful for you. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me or shoot me an email here. I will be endeavoured to get back to you as soon as possible. If there's any topic you would like me to talk, please feel free to leave me a comment below. I will do my best and create more valuable content in the future for you. As always, I'm here to help, serve and dedicated to get you the best results. See you in the next video.